Here, I'm going to walk you through how to access your Seller Shield once you've received the welcome email. So here you have the Welcome to Seller Shield email. It gives you a little introduction about how and what they are. So we're going to go ahead and click Go to Smart Seller Tools. Alrighty, so once you get here to the Welcome to Seller Shield, you're going to go ahead and click Get Started. So once you're in here, your information's already been put in by our team. It's going to have your name for this purpose. It says test and they had your email, phone number, and you're going to go ahead and create a password. So once you have your password in, you're going to hit continue. And this will be your property address. This is also already set by us. So you're just going to go ahead and confirm that we've got it correct. You're going to hit next. So right here, it's going to tell you more about what you are about to begin doing, which you're going to be signing all of the legal documents for the side of your home. So make sure all this information is as accurate as you can make it. Um, so go ahead and hit get started. So right here is going to be a home sale legal protection plan that they offer. We do not pay for this. This is only up to you if you would like to. Um, it is not required, so if you would wish to not, you go ahead and say no thank you, continue to my disclosure. Any of these packages, you can go ahead and read more about them, but we're gonna go ahead and put no. So right here, you're going ahead and agreeing that you're gonna be filling out the Texas Realtor User Agreement, stating that everything that you're doing, you agree that you're filling it out, that it's accurate. Alrighty, so your disclosure. So pretty much you have legal tips at the top, watch your video, Ad protection, those are all the three kind of things. This is kind of how to do it, adding that protection plan we just passed, and then the legal tips. It'll tell you more about kind of if you have questions about each of these sections. So as you scroll down here, it's going to talk more about your seller disclosure notice, and you want to go ahead and read everything you can, but you're going to click any icons that you see throughout to ask for questions. So like these little icons here will give you a little bit more about the question if you don't know what it means. So for this purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and go through and click just random options, the first option, just so I can get through this and show you, but just so you can kind of see how it is. So we're just gonna go ahead and select all of these as yes. Some of the times whenever you select yes or no on some options, it's gonna ask for more information. So again, these are the little sections. If you don't know what an exhaust fan is, it tells you about it. Same thing with gas fixtures, everything like that. We're gonna continue down here. I'm just gonna click yes. Alrighty, so that's everything. Okay, so once you've completed that document, it's going to move to the next one. Based off some of the answers, you might have more or less disclosures to fill out, but it's going to go ahead and show you a little video and talk more about that safety plan again. So you're going to say no thank you, and then it's going to say time to sign. So we complete everything. We're going to actually apply our signatures. So we're going to hit sign all documents. If you want to review each one, you can. These are the ones I filled out. So depending on what you selected, like I said, you might have like four or five total documents here. They change depending on your answers on your home. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my name here, which for this purpose is test one. And today's date, it'll populate a little signature here for you. And then now it's going to go ahead and apply your signature across all documents. So if you want to download and keep them, you can. Or you can go to your dashboard. So now you've completed everything. It says complete. All of your information is in here. If you need to contact our team, it's going to be in the information up here shows you everything I did below and you can go ahead and contact us or it'll go ahead and send to us so you will be all done with your disclosures.